So thank you, Sylvia. As, as Sylvia mentioned, I am Serbi Dosi, and I want to thank you all for being here tonight to listen to all of our stories. My, my experience in Kenya was absolutely incredible. I have never felt so inspired and motivated. So I'm here tonight to share some of those stories with you. These stories are about three amazing people I met, and hopefully you feel inspired as well. So my first story is about a woman named Mercy. Mercy is an empath worker whose responsibility is to educate women in remote villages about cervical and breast cancer. The team tagged along on one of her trips she had planned with the village chief who had agreed a rare meeting to set up a town hall meeting for us. Um, so <laughs> let me explain to you how a town hall meeting in Turbo works. So we arrived. Um, so the village chief texts his three junior chiefs about a time and location to meet. And then those junior chiefs text their leaders about the same time and location to meet. And within 30 minutes, you have 100 people show up in someone's front yard. And it's incredible. So on a bright sunny day in Turbo, in someone's front yard under some very large mango trees, we watched Mercy work. She effortlessly, effortlessly grabs the attention of the crowd, addresses the women, and teaches them about cancer, the importance of cancer screening, and dispelling any myths that they have heard along the way. The woman sitting on the ground, shifting to follow the shadow of, as the sun sets, feeling safe and empowered to take action about their own health. They were so empowered that they requested Mercy to set up screenings in their village for the following week. This was remarkable. We're talking about women who have probably never been to a doctor and know nothing about cancer who are finally taking care control about their health. I was in awe. Mercy single-handedly changes hundreds of lives every day. Next, I wanna talk about Elizabeth. She is also an empath worker who had invited us to attend one of her HIV support group meetings that she leaves in Bungoma County. We did not expect what, as we arrived, what we expected. So when we arrived, we had about eight women who greeted us and uh, welcomed them into their, into their meeting room, which is an eight by six foot container, shipping container. So we walk into this room, there's four of us from Lily and along with Mercy and Elizabeth, we come into the shipping container and all of a sudden it's, they burst out to singing and then dancing and we joined along and it was great. I had never been in a shipping container yet alone with so much joy. <laughs> but also in that same container, we learned that Elizabeth herself had lived with HIV for the last 20 years. And she shared the challenges she faced in the community and how she overcame them. She has three beautiful children who were born with HIV negative and are the motivation for all the work she does today. So next, we moved outside where they had set up some plastic chairs, probably the same faded plastic chairs, uh, in front of the container where we sat facing a group of 25 women who called themselves Wasupu, which means the beautiful ones. This was just one of the 30 women HIV, HIV support groups that Elizabeth facilitated in Bungoma County area. So each one of the women stood up, introduced themselves, and shared their stories and journeys of living with HIV. It ranged from how they had been affected, the current viral load, and all these women shared a very intimate part of themselves with us, who they had just met. So their openness, their acceptance of us into their support group, and their willingness to share this story had me in awe. I reflected upon this phenomenon. Yes, I call it that because I don't think I could ever share such an intimate detail like that so easily with friends, yet alone a group of strangers. Could you? So, now, so let me go back to the first day when I had met David for the first time. David was a driver that had picked me up from the Eldora Airport and drove me to the IU house. After the few friendly exchanges, I expressed to him that it was my first time in Kenya, and I didn't know anyone here. David very casually turns towards me and goes, 
don't worry, your friends are waiting for you. And I was, at first I thought, I was like, he met the Lily team at the IU house. And I didn't really understand that since I had not met from the Lily team. And I just told, I knew no one. I didn't understand what he really meant in that moment. And it was not later until I had gone through the experiences I just shared. It is so beautiful in its simplicity that anywhere you go in life, whether you know it or not, the destination will be full of potential friends, supporters, and a world of possibilities. As I reflected on this trip, that first interaction on the first day brought it home for me. That one person can change lives. With that sentence, he changed my perspective and approach in my life. So before going on this trip to Kenya, I had always thought in the back of my mind where I wondered, how can I help? The two weeks in Kenya made me realize that it's not about me where I framed the question, how can I help? It made me realize that I was asking the wrong question the whole time. It's about where can I help? Maybe most of you have had the same thought as me, and that's why I'm up here to share my story and say, you all can help. All you have to do is show up. It's, it is simply that easy. If you've ever had the same question as I have, you're not alone. You've already taken that mental step to want to help. And the second step is just to show up, meet your new friends, and change the world. I will leave you all today with a few snippets of my experience in Kenya, the one that I will remember for the rest of my life. I take with me a newfound passion for change and a number of inspiring role models and leaders who I plan to continue to work with the best I can. Please do not forget to pursue your passions with every bit of conviction like Mercy and Elizabeth. And I know that wherever you go, your friends are waiting for you.